Did you know this? That there is a faith that's going to lead people straight to hell? That's crazy, right? A faith that leads people straight to hell. I know that's kind of driving your mind crazy. Like, I thought faith brings people to Jesus. No, I want you to understand this. Biblically speaking, there is a faith that's going to lead people straight to hell. Now, you got to ask yourself, do I have that faith? Well, I read the word of God and I had to examine myself. And you know what? I found out, man, there is a lot of people that have this type of faith. You know what type of faith is? Check it out. It's called a dead faith. I'm going to say it again. It's called a dead faith. Look what it says in the word of God. It says this. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. It's talking about words. Let me give you an example. I want you to set this in your mind. Have you ever heard somebody that always is talking about losing weight? They say, man, I'm tired of being overweight. I feel like it's unhealthy and I want to lose some weight so bad. And then they never do any type of calorie counting. They never push away from the dinner table, the breakfast table, or the lunch table. And guess where they get every lunch? At a buffet. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Does that make sense? They say, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. But yet, they don't do any action to help them lose weight. Well, you know this. Is that person going to lose weight? <laughs> well, you know the answer. Absolutely not. Let me put another example in your mind. One day... I want to be a homeowner. I want to own a home. I want to be a responsible man and woman. But yet, they never do any type of finan financial budget. They're always at the mall shopping. They're always buying this. They're always buying that. But they say the right word. They say, hey, one day I want to be a homeowner. But you don't see it in their actions. You don't see it in their actions. Can I ask you something? You think that that type of financial irresponsibility is going to get them to a point where they're going to be a homeowner? Absolutely not. It's the same thing when people say, Lord, Lord, but they don't have the actions that follow the words that they say. There's many Christians that talk about, hey, I love Jesus. I love the Lord. But their actions are not pleasing to God. So words won't get you into heaven. Actions will definitely get you into heaven. Is a person saved by works? Absolutely. But I want you to take a picture of this. There's a horse. There's some chariots. Let's just say that the horse is faith. And say that the chariot is works. The horse always leads the chariot. The chariot never jumps in front of the horse and takes the horse on a trip. No. We do the works because we believe. Faith in Jesus will cause us to have an action that pleases God. I'm not talking about going to church every day. I'm not talking about talking about Jesus. I'm talking about living a life that's pleasing to God. You remember what it says in the parable? That you're going to know a tree by what? By what? Come on. Come on. Tell me. By his fruits. You're going to know a tree by his fruits. So when a person says that they believe in Christ and they're Holy Spirit filled, you're going to see the fruits pop out of their life. The fruits of love, of joy, of peace, of kindness, of gentleness, of self-control is going to just pop out of them. Don't you know it says in the Bible that a good tree doesn't bear bad fruit and a bad tree doesn't bear good fruit? You're going to know them. By their fruits. You can tell when a person loves God by the way that they act and the things that they talk about. Can I tell you something? There's a parable in the Bible where Jesus talks about two sons. One son, he said, hey, son, go out in the field and go to work. And you know what the son said? Yes, Heavenly Father. Yes, my dad. I will. And he said that he went out the door and he did not do anything that his dad asked him to do. Then he went to the other son and said, hey, son, go out in the field and work. And the son said, I will not. I refuse. And he walked out of the door rebellious, disobedient. But when he walked out of that house, he felt conviction. It said that he repented. And he turned around and went in the field of work. And Jesus asked him, who did the will of the father? 
I said, of course, the one that repented and turned back. He said, look, that's what the Christian life is all about. Not being perfect. Sometimes you're not going to feel like serving God. Sometimes you're not going to feel like living a life that's sanctified, holy, cut extremely just for the will of God. Sometimes you're not going to feel like it, but you do it anyway. Sometimes you're going to fall, but like Proverbs says, a righteous man falls seven times, but what does he do? He gets back up and he keeps walking. I'm not talking about living a perfect life, but a life that's full of faith. A life that says, oh God, like, like David after he committed adultery, after he murdered, he said, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. He repented. He got back up and kept walking for the Lord. That's what you and me got to do. You see, there's a faith that leads people straight to hell. Look what it says. But many will say that day, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? And did we not do many miracles in your name? And Jesus is going to say, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You see, they did a lot of works. But they didn't have a relationship. They didn't fear God. They didn't honor God. They didn't have a respect for God. Can I ask you something? What type of faith do you have? Let us have a faith that fears the Lord, that respects his word, that submits to God's word. We're not perfect, but we're sanctified. You know what it means? That every day we're getting better. Every day God is taking us from victory to victory, from glory to glory, from triumph to triumph. That's what God wants from us. That's what is going to please God. It's not enough, my brother. It's not enough, my sister, to say, I am a Christian and I love Jesus. There's got to be some actions that follow those things. A life that's set apart for God's glory, for his honor, and for his praise. Let's be those Christians. Not Christians that had dead faith. Dead faith will take you straight to hell. A faith that's alive is a faith that continues to grow. Continues to go from glory to glory and from trying to triumph. It continues to grow in maturity. That leaves the things of the flesh to the side. That leaves the things of sensual pleasures, sinful desires, selfish desires to the, to the back. And we walk forward towards Jesus Christ. If this video has been a blessing to you, if you're not a subscriber, I want you to press that button, subscribe, press like, leave a comment. If there's a video on a subject that you want me to speak about, I'd love to drop a video. I also want you to share this channel with as many people as you can. This is a growing channel. I want God's word to be preached to everybody. God bless you. Have an amazing day.